Welcome to this tutorial on how to create realistic fog effects in 3ds Max using V-Ray. We'll cover essential settings like fog distance, scattering and much more. So let's jump right into it. I'll begin by hiding the trees and other vegetation just to improve on the render times. Uh, in the command panel, go to rendering, environment, uh, and atmosphere, add V-Ray environment fog. First up, we have fog distance. This setting determines how far the fog extends into the scene. Use shorter fog distances in smaller intimate scenes and larger fog distances for vast open scenes. Next, let's talk about scatter GI, global illumination. This is vital for how the fog interacts with the light in your scene. When scatter GI is enabled, the fog scatters the global illumination, making the lighting in your scene look more natural and soft. It simulates how light rays bounce and pass through the fog, hence adding realism. Scatter bounce controls how much light bounces around in the fog. If you increase this value, more light will bounce through the fog, making it appear brighter and more illuminated. Reducing it makes the fog darker and more solid. This setting is essential for balancing how bright or shadowy your fog looks based on your lighting setup. So play with the scatter bounce when working with the multiple light sources or when you want to control the mood. Moving on to fog height. This controls the vertical spread of the fog in your scene. If you want fog to appear only on the ground or in specific areas, adjusting the fog height is key. It's especially important for scenes where fog needs to cover valleys, streets or a defined space without going too high. Use lower fog heights for ground fog or mist effects and higher values for scenes where you want fog to feel an entire environment. Next is step size. This defines how detailed the fog calculation is. Smaller step sizes will give more detailed fog with softer transitions between foggy and clear areas but at the cost of increased render time. Larger step sizes will render faster but might give more jagged or less realistic fog transitions. Use smaller step sizes for close-up for close shots or when high detail is needed and larger step sizes for distant or background fog effects.
So one more, one other important element to consider will be the the fog color. This allows you to adjust the color of the fog, which can be crucial depending on the time of day or type of atmosphere you want to create. Use a warm color for a sunrise scene or a cool bluish fog for nighttime settings. And there you have it thanks for watching this video tutorial as always please thumbs up the video it really helps subscribe and let me know in the comments section if you have any questions or suggestions or which areas you need clarification on